Hello everyone, it's Kay again and I'm here today to share a couple of um, lovely cards that I've had. I always think it's lovely to share these cards. They are so unexpected when they land on the mat and, and I do appreciate it. This one I'm sure anyone that follows Debbie Vignola will recognise right away. Thank you so much Debbie. What a kind, kind thought to include me in your um, card making and your gifting at Christmas. I do appreciate it and I actually fell in love with this card when Debbie did her video on it. I just think there is something so elegant about the white on white and just that little bit of sparkly and glitter just so so lovely with the Noel up in the corner so no one's you know <laughs> at a loss as to what the card is all about if you didn't recognise the symbolism of the holly and the beautiful street lamp there. There's Debbie's stamp on the back. If you don't know Debbie, please excuse the shadowing here. Do go along and check out her video. She is a lovely lady and works very hard within the community of crafters and does some absolutely stunning work. And the second card is from Lynn Noakes. Um, Lynn used to have a different channel. I can't remember what her channel is. I think she's just using her name now. But she recently held a giveaway and has sent this card by way of a thank you. So thank you so much, Lynn. Very, very much appreciated. It's very, very kind of you and say hello to Chloe too. You've got a, a very lovely little granddaughter there who is clearly very helpful to you. So I'll put those two out of the way just for the moment because I've also received some happy mail. Now I've an idea who it's from but there was no um, address or anything on the envelope so I have just taken unsealed the top. Nothing else has been and um, oh, I say, look at that, nothing else has been touched. Lovely, lovely, beautiful blues here. I do like a blue. No handwriting on the, on the envelope to give anything away. Oh, but I know who it is now. Oh, it's Nina. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, Nina, that's glorious. Now, Nina, if you don't know, I, I keep talking about this young lady she is just so talented I can't tell you I, I um, tend to dabble in a few bits and pieces but I've not really understood mixed media or apart from the very basic different styles in the art world I've not really thought about artists or anything like that and I joined Nina's group which is Nina's Arts and crafts prompts on Facebook and I can't recommend it highly enough. The background here is just a sample of Nina's work and she would have made this background herself using ink spritzers, stamps, different colours. Um, some of her work is just so beautiful and then she goes along and she gets it printed out at the printers and I believe um, Nina also has a store where she sells some of her, her um, makes. Not that I've checked it out as yet, but I plan to do that in the new year. But thank you so much, Nina. This is very, very kind of you and very much appreciated. I'm going to open this up. I've no idea what it is, but there is a lovely little elegant... I might have to undo... yeah. A lovely little elegant dangle here with a quite fierce lobster, lobster claw attachment. But isn't that gorgeous? Look at the fairy. Just so, so lovely. And that will fit on any number of things. All beautifully put together. Handmade, of course. Because Nina turns her hand to, to quite a few craft variables from her, her painting to mixed media clearly a little bit of bead work she makes some gorgeous gorgeous projects 
which she then gives away in her group periodically and I am just so happy to be a member of that group. It is absolutely chock-a-block full of inspiration, of great ideas and a lot of lovely, lovely, very supportive people who, you know, really do go the distance to take part in as much within the group as they can. So thank you so much, Nina. It's been an absolute pleasure. And we'll just take this lovely grow grain ribbon off. Beautiful blue. I love it. And then gently open it. And as gently as I can. The tissue paper is not very... Um, friendly to be being treated gently, I think. <laughs> oh, that's not quite so bad. It must be a low-tack tape Nina used. Oh. Sorry, I'm fumbling around here. And I really don't want to damage anything. Oh my word. Oh my word, oh golly, well this is what inspired me totally and completely in the group with Nina. This is how she did the prompt for the first week in December, excuse the rustling please, and just look, it is absolutely gorgeous, it really really is. It's a wooden MDF piece, as you can see, with this kind of um, scalloped edge going all the way around it, papered on the back and inked very gently. And then I know Nina talked about the foam um, snowflake, and I think this is, is this, no, this isn't the one that Nina did for her video to explain to everyone what it is she was looking for. This one she made after and it's just such a joy. I'll keep that one once the tree is down. I will keep that in my craft room. It is just so, so lovely from the little pearl drops going all the way around, just emphasising that gorgeous edge. Then the little um, decorative snowflake underneath that and then two layers. I think the top one is wooden but the bottom one here is the foam. Just so gorgeous. Thank you. And this, oh my golly gosh. Now I watched Nina give one of these away to people on uh, someone that won a giveaway on the channel and you know I absolutely fell in love with it and now I have one of my very own but look as simple as it looks the work involved here is just incredible from you know the mixed media point of view with the different layers of paint the dimension of the peacock feather which is risen and obviously done through um, a stencil. You can see the raised feature there. Beautiful signatures down the side. More of the lovely different tones of ink and paint and I don't know quite what Nina's used to finish it but it is absolutely gorgeous. Oh I am proud. Thank you so so much. This is just so wonderful because trust me having having a piece of Nina's work in your home is just a wonderful thing. It really really is and here is the inside look. Oh my gosh. I think this is embossed and then the, the ink theme is followed all the way through. All the edges have been inked. Oh my gosh, it truly is wonderful. I love it. Absolutely love it. And then there are different types of paper. Some of Nina's um, 
splatter papers that she uses when she's working and she keeps it all and then finds the use or repurposes. I don't know quite what that is. It almost feels like um, the webbing that you would have on a on a blind or something. Some tissue tracing paper, lined paper. I mean, it really is just so, so gorgeous. Loads of um, inspiration here. I will certainly, you know, refer back to this when I make similar styles of journal. I don't tend to make anything for writing in particular. I'm a bit naught. I always decorate pages, but clearly to have a functional book like this is just so, so oh my word I just adore that absolutely gorgeous look at that and that's this this is the second signature signature now but the two together that is just a phenomenal centerpiece and then more papers grid papers square papers absolutely stunning oh Nina thank you so so much I can't tell you how thrilled I am really to have this little creation in my hot little hands absolutely gorgeous thank you so so much I can't tell you how much I appreciate the fact that you've sent this out to me and it will be looked after very very well indeed I absolutely love 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 it so I hope you've enjoyed sharing these wonderful little inspirational things with me I can't I can't emphasize strongly enough if you are into mixed media different painting techniques and that kind of thing do pop across to the group and if you don't know Lynn and Debbie also, please go along and say hello. You really, really won't be disappointed. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. Take care, everyone. Bye bye for now.